Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and today's video, I'm going to be talking about some features that you need to adjust right away as soon as you get your A7 IV. So welcome back to another video. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button for future videos similar to this video. I have other A7 IV videos as well if you're interested or if you are thinking about this camera that you can find in the playlist right here. So I've been playing around with the Sony A7 IV for about a week or so now and here are some features that I think you might need to turn on before you start shooting with this camera. So let's jump right into it. So the first feature that you have to adjust, especially if you're still running the original firmware version one, is to tell the Sony a7 IV to not shut off because it thinks it's overheating, even after only been on for about 20 minutes just using the menus, which is something that I've seen in a lot of a7 IVs right now. So the first feature is the auto power off temp setting. In order to get to that, you need to press on the menu button, then go all the way to the setup tab, and then from there, go all the way to item number nine. From there, go to auto power off temp and make sure you have it to high. By default, it will be set to standard, but we don't want that to happen. We want to tell that camera, the Sony a7 IV, that the camera is not actually overheating, even after I've only been using it for 20 minutes in the menu systems. So this is something that you need to set up before you even start shooting your camera or else it's going to shut off after about 20 or 30 minutes. The next thing is to turn on the record and display on your camera. This is important to have because this camera does not have a tally light. So in order to do that, you first have to turn the knob dial from photo mode to video mode because depending on the mode you're on, you'll be, you'll be able to access different features. So once you've done that, go to menu, then go to shooting. And from there, go all the way to item 11, which is shooting display. Go to emphasize rec display and make sure that it's on. So that what's going to do is once you hit record on your camera, it's going to show a red box around your LCD screen. So you know that you're recording a video clip. Another new feature on the Sony a7 IV is that it has an actual door that closes and opens in front of your sensor. I have it turned on in my camera to close whenever I have the camera shut down. And this is useful if I'm changing lenses a lot. So this prevents a lot of dust to enter the sensor of my camera. So in order to turn this on, again, go into menu, we'll go into setup, go into the last item setup option. And over here, we'll go to anti-dust function and shutter when power off. We wanna turn that to on. And it tells you right here that it closes the mechanical shutter on the camera so it closes and protects the sensor, preventing dust from getting into it when you're changing your lenses. So it's super useful to have, but also a very difficult to find feature. The next feature is to turn on your lens compensation effects. For that, again, go to menu, go to shooting, then go to image quality, and then go all the way down to lens compensation. And there are a few options right here. You can turn shading compensation from off to on. And what this does is that this compensates for vignetting around the edges. You can set it to auto, chromatic aberration compensation. This reduces color fringing and chromatic aberration in your images. You can set that as well to auto, distortion compensation to auto, and breathing compensation. Right now, I have a lens that is not compatible with this feature. Sony G Master lenses and other Sony lenses are compatible with this feature. If you have one of those, make sure you set that to on. This is going to smoothen out those shifts in focus that you see sometimes where you get like a slight crop in in your camera as the camera tries to focus on different objects. The next one is the autofocus assist on. And for this, again, we'll go into AFMF. Make sure you're in the video dial for this one and then go into the first item, AFMF, and then go into autofocus and set it to on. This is going to let you operate the focus ring when you have your camera in autofocus. So what it does is that it overrides the autofocus and lets you manually focus by just adjusting the focus ring. And again, this is only compatible with some lenses, with most Sony lenses, but I hope that in future firmware upgrades that they will make this compatible to a lot more different lenses out there. The next one that I like to turn on is the autofocus face and eye autofocus. So again, go into focus, go to, go to number three, face and eye autofocus, 
and here I like to have it on. While we're here as well, make sure that you turn on face eye frame display. I like to have that on so I know exactly where my camera's focusing whenever it's engaging face detection or eye autofocus. Another thing I like to have on is the grid lines and particularly the rule of thirds grid. I just like to have it so I know where my horizon is and I know that all the lines that I'm looking at on the screen are straight. So I go to menu again, go into shooting, and from here go all the way down to shooting display, and then grid line display on. And as I said, I like to set mine to rule of thirds grid with that grid over here, the rule of thirds. There are also different grids that you can use. There is a square grid, a diagonal, plus the square grid, but I like to keep mine to the rule of thirds. Another really cool feature that is on the a7 IV that I don't think is, in, is on any other cameras, but you can correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below, but this is the focus frame display. So in order to enable that, we're gonna go into playback, go into playback option, item number seven, focus frame display. So if you have it set to on, this is what it's going to do. It's going to display the focus frame during playback of your photo. So let me do an example here, taking a photo. Once I go to playback, it tells me with that little green square where my focus was for this photo at the time of shooting it. And if you are out there shooting and you wanna make sure that you're nailing your focus, this is a really good feature to have. And last but not least, one thing that I recommend you do is to play around with all of the functions and all the settings and play around with the custom buttons as well. I really like to, the ability to access all of these features via the press of one of these custom buttons. And then depending on your shooting style, you may have different setups or different features for your custom button. So make sure you go through all of them. I'll be making a video about hybrid shooting and how I set up my Sony a7 IV. I'll link it up here on this playlist, which is all about the Sony a7 IV. These are all the settings that I adjusted when I first got my Sony a7 IV. You may have some other settings that you like to play with according to your shooting style. Let me know in the comments below which ones you were adjusting. I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.